Thank you very much, Mr. President, and congratulations on your election. Mr. Secretary General of the ITU, Mr. Zhao, and other distinguished ITU officials, elected officials, Excellencies, partners in development all, I would like to, from the outset, express our profound uh, appreciation for, to the Romanian government for hosting such an important event at this time of our history and for the hospitality shown uh, so far and I have no doubt uh, will continue throughout our time in Romania. It gives me much honor to affirm the policy positions and the commitments of the people of Guyana and the government of Guyana at this watershed moment for the ITU and our global digital future. Our government has been working and continues to work on promoting a governance policies that fully are committed and the energies that goes towards significant portion and our significant portion of the country's resources as is reflected in our national budgets towards transforming the telecommunication landscape of Guyana and for building a technologically knowledge-based society locally. While we persevere at home with localized programs and projects that will impact our national transformation outlook, we are concomitantly engaged in bilateral cooperation and collective global efforts to build and promote common digital platforms for the benefit of all humanity. In this regard, we fully subscribe to the Butcheress Declaration to be issued more fulsomely upon conclusion of our deliberations here in this beautiful city. Accordingly, we affirm our unwavering commitment to achieving universal, secure, inclusive, and affordable access to the internet for all citizens, residents, and visitors alike to Guyana. We strengthen our efforts in the design and the implementation of future-oriented policies to aid sustainable development of our country. And we have been, as a government, working to develop and adapt strategies and policies to address the ongoing future digital challenges impacting our development paradigm. Mr. Chair, Guyana has prioritized policies that work towards building sustainable digital ecosystems to empower and benefit all our people equally. We continue to engage our partners with multi-sectoral stakeholders at home and abroad to achieve and maintain social inclusiveness in innovation pathways and employment across the industry continuum. We will continue actively to highlight issues and contribute solutions in industry financing that impact our citizens' ability to directly engage and benefit from the digital economy. We remain, of course, fully committed to promoting and enabling the digital content, literacy, and social services that will build a future-based knowledge society. We, the government of Guyana, continue to look forward to the support of the ITU and other partners as we reform our political will and commitment to leveraging technological innovations in the climate change fight and efforts to mitigate its impact on societies. Guyana, of course, is committed to applying these principles at national, 
regional and global levels through mutual respect and in keeping with our legal and moral obligations to build frameworks that will support an all-inclusive and sustainable digital future for our citizens and all humanity. With these highlighted policy positions, which will form part of the Butteras Declaration, the government of the Cooperative Republic of Ghana stands squarely with all the efforts to contribute universally for the development of the ITU Connect 2030 Agenda and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals of the 2030 Agenda. On behalf of President Mohammed Irfan Ali, the government and the people of Guyana, I thank you for the opportunity to share this platform and I wish to extend very best wishes to all the delegates and the ITU for successful outcomes. Thank you very much.